Hey there, welcome to another video on Kaggle competitions this time. Now in this particular video, we're going to do the Mercedes Benz greener manufacturing. Now I've already made a video about the EDA process of it, the link of which will be in the comment section below. And so you can look at how the EDA is done for this particular exercise and come back to this particular part to do the base solution. But before we go there, hey there, I'm Kunal Nayak. I'm the founder of Data Science Masterminds and I'm on a mission to help you learn and apply data science effectively to grow in your career. So please subscribe to this channel and hit that bell notification button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. So let's dive in. Now I'm on the Mercedes-Benz Greener Manufacturing and we're going to get straight into the problem statement. So you can read about the problem statement here and you can look at some of the submissions that I have already done, which is somewhere around this area is where we will be targeting this time. Okay. And so you want to go to the code area and say new notebook, which will basically open up a notebook like this. And then you can start by renaming this notebook. I'm going to give this as P1 base solution linear regression for YouTube. So this is the code that you want to have. Now I'm going to remove some of these details here to keep it clean. And we're going to remove all of this too. I'm going to hit escape and above, escape and one to give this a heading saying import packages. We're going to first begin by importing the packages and we have NumPy and Pandas required first and we'll keep adding few of them as we go along. Next, I'm going to open up a markdown and say control one again. This time I'm going to say import, import data, and I'm going to open up a code here. Now I'm going to import the train data and test data. Train data is going to be pd.read underscore csv, open close bracket, and I'm going to run this one to give us where the location of the train.csv is. So I'm going to copy that and within the single quotation, I'm going to put this particular value here. Next, I'm just going to copy this and paste it below. I'm going to give this a test. I'm going to do somewhat some more cells below so we can get some space and I hit the escape B, 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 B to add the additional cells below. Now I've got this data and we can run this to get our train and test data. Now I'm going to create another markdown and I'm going to say escape two and this time increase few more cells. I'm going to say check data. So I can give something like train dot head close the bracket and run it. And as you can see, we can get the IDs and all of the feature names. Fortunately, our target variable Y is named as Y and we can use this directly. So we got this data and uh, I can add another code here and say this as info to get some statistics on this. And I have train.info. 378 entries look like that we have to apply some dimensionality, dimensionality reduction techniques. And so we'll be also looking into some of that. So now we have, uh, you know, imported the data, check the data for train. Now we are ready to move into the main highlight of this video. The way we structure this problem statement from here is going to make or break how you write or how you solve this competition. So we're going to draw this out before we get into the coding. Now, currently we began by taking the packages and then we imported the data, right? So this is the first two steps, step one, and then step two, we have data. Next, there is a couple of things that we will be doing. So from here, we are going to move to this place. From here, we're going to move to a place where now we are going to divide our train data and test data into y and x, which means we will have a y and an x 
and then also x test because for the competition we need to predict this y test right this is not available so we will we'll not have this right so we will get these three elements that's as uh, as this particular step and then after we have gotten this one next we are going to take all of this and do something on top of it which is basically your train test split right before that we also have to ensure that you know we divide our variables from this x data into the categorical and numerical because then we'll have to handle them accordingly so there's another step that we will do here that is we'll take our x data that is available here this particular x data right and we will again you know get the categorical and numerical features from them right so you want to get categorical categorical features and numerical features right so we can do either this step or that step first but after this step is done after this step is done you know after these two steps are done we have to move on to doing the pre-processing step now the pre-processing step we can do a lot many steps here but first case since we are doing a regression type of a problem statement we will begin with doing some categorical encoding now we do this because we want to convert all of these categorical features into numeric and this numeric features are going to be helpful for predicting something predicting continuous value so we're going to do that and uh, this will generate some uh, nan or null values because the way we'll handle it and so because of this immediately we'll move into treating missing values okay so we'll treat we'll do categorical encoding then we'll treat missing values and then we can do some transformation so transformation would be you take all of the numerical feature and you you bring it to the same scale right so this is essential for regression kind of a problem statement and so we'll do this transformation after this transformation the next step is you know this particular step is ready for building the model right so we prepare the data and this is the pre-processing processing stage right so let's do this part of the video till this point and then we'll do it or draw out the next part of it now let's move on to our code back and i have this place now i'm going to say here escape to and then say divide data into x and y now i'm going to write the code here and we're going to do this in one one line so i'm going to say y x and then x test so i'm going to say y is equal to this and i'll say train of y and x is equal to train dot drop of features such as your y and id and axis is equal to one so we are going to do it along the column axis that is why this axis is equal to one here i'm going to replicate this for test so i'm just going to say is equal to and paste it here but this time i'm just going to change this to test and in the test data set y will not exist so i'm going to delete it that's what we need to predict right so we have this data with us and we we should we are now ready with this part and we are now ready to move into the train test split so i'm going to do control escape 2 again here and train and validation split is what i'm going to go with so i'm going to write another code here for that we'll be requiring the train test split function within the model selection package for sqlearn so the way we're going to do it is go back to the top and i'm going to say import train test split and this is going to be from sqlearn dot model selection and we can give this 
as such and I'm going to say train test split sklearn and this is the one that we'll be using so for this we require two inputs the x and y and what's the test size and a random state and then we also need to know this particular sequence in which we are going to get the train, train test split so i'm just going to copy this one here and go back to the section here and i'm going to say x train x test y train y test for this particular code i'm going to name this as validation because we already have a test data set so that way we can compare or build our model on the train data and compare it with the validation data set so then i'm going to say train test split open this one if x so if you do that first we need to give the x then y then test size is let's say 0 0.2 that is 20% of it what we, we are using for test and then we are going to say random state equal to 42 so this should be good we gave the x and y x and y test size and random state and it should be good enough for us so i run this and it says it's not defined which is i have to run it and come back here and then run so now I have the train data, only the x variables. This is how it's going to be looking, right? Okay. I'm just going to delete this for now. And the next step is from our sequence here, we want to get the categorical and numerical featured names, right? So let's see how we can get that. So get categorical and new numerical feature names now this is so that we could treat them or pre-process them uh, individually or for cat for categorical individually and numerical individually for that we're going to say numerical numerical features is equal to and we're going to give the x data set dot and say select d types include is equal to number and so this should give us all the numerical feature names um, in fact this will give us the entire data so i'm just going to say columns dot values and it should just give us all the numerical feature name so i'm just going to right click on this and say enables coding for output so i got the numerical features and i'm going to similarly extract the categorical features Categorical features copy this one paste it below and this time i'm going to exclude exclude the number of features here and say run so i have x0 to x8 which are categorical in nature and so i have the categorical and numerical feature with me which i can use while doing some transformation on top of it right so the first thing that we'll we'll do after this step and let's see what's in our next step we'll do some categorical encoding right so for categorical encoding we can do ordinal encoding ordinal encoding in python and this is where the ordinal encoder is what we'll be using right so we go back to the top and we're going to say from sklearn learn dot pre-processing import ordinal encoding encoder so we have this ordinal encoder from this place and we also might require the variance one also but more of that later on let's just get through this particular part of it i'm going to run that 
and go back to this place and we're going to call this as call this step as transformations or pre-processing sorry processing the first step is categorical in the way we'll do it is we will do a ordinal and we'll create an instance of ordinal encoder so ordinal ordinal encoder and we are going to have to handle the unknown values here or else we're going to get error into the future because in the train data we have let's say five categories within a feature the test data might not have that five features or will have some extra of those features right and so to handle that we are going to introduce uh, uh, some parameters for ordinal encoder which will deal with that but that will introduce some values which we need to treat missing values which we need to treat so it's going to be this unknown value and this handle error which we are just going to copy and paste here rest all we can leave as as is and this is going to be we're going to say handle unknown as use encoded value Use encoded value, and we're going to say np dot na na n, and that is this unknown value here. Right? So np dot na n, which is the value which will introduce unknown values, because then we can take those unknown values and replace it with missing values in the next step, right? So let's see if this works. You oh okay, I have to say open the bracket here, and let's put it back so run this and then i have this ordinal encoder with us now we are going to transform the train set the validation set and also the test uh, x test data also so that's why we are going to say transform train validation validation and the test data all of the x variables here Okay. so it's going to be like this i'm going to say x train and i'm going to give the categorical features here this time and is equal to ordinal encoding dot transform mm -hmm. and we're going to give the x categorical view but we also need to fit this I forgot to do that stop step here so i'm going to say oe dot fit and give x comma y or just the x should be sufficient so if i run this yes it's done the fit is done and so now we can transform the features such as this so i'm going to copy this paste it here paste it here here we're going to call it as validation copy this and paste it here and here we're going to call this as test copy this and paste it so we're transforming x train data here um, you know transforming the x validation data here and transforming the x test data here in this particular case uh, in fact we should be using the x train for transformation here so I'm going to use that. So I, I transform it on the X train data and then I can transform using whatever this transformation we have on all of these three data sets. And this will be the sequence we'll follow for even other type of things that we're going to do that is missing values and, and transformation. So I should run this, it should be working fine. Has no attribute called transforms. We need transform. So Ensure the spelling is correct and let's run this particular code. So X has eight features, but ordinal encoding is expecting 376 features as input. That what it's saying. So which means we need to give this X train data instead of this because we give all of the features. That is why we need to divide our data into categorical and numerical. So we give X train categorical features and run it and now we run it it should be working fine so let's look at how 
this particular data will be transformed okay so i'm going to copy this and paste it here if you run it you'll see now you'll have encoded values as opposed to you having values such as k v a t and all of that thing this is a string and categorical so it converted into numerical features which we can leverage now so once that stuff is done we now need to do missing value treatment because we introduce certain missing values because of this uh, the reason is we have some extra categories and you know instead of dealing with them uh, in, in an um, unknown fashion what we do is we introduce some missing values and then treat those missing values the process is going to be fairly simple in this i'm just going to copy this here and also copy this here to do the step and the way we're going to do it uh, is by doing missing value treatment which is simple imputer so it should be available within the pre-processing here so i'm going to say simple okay it's not here it should be in impute okay so it's going to be from sklearn dot impute import simple imputer we ran that and now we have simple imputer so we're going to come to this missing value treatment place and we're going to say impute as this and we're going to say simple imputer and we're going to say strategy is equal to median for now so take all of the numerical features that that are there and just wherever there is missing value just replace it with median and again to start with we can just put this value here but you can continue to choose and change this or evolve this as as you do some more iteration now the in this step what we're going to do is we're going to do it on all of the fe numerical features so we don't need to specifically mention this and since we did ordinal code encoding on the categorical features we don't need to specifically mention any numerical features because all of the features within the data that we have is going to be numerical by now because of the transformation we did earlier and so let's run this so we fit it and then we run this and it smoothly worked next step is after missing value treatment we're going to do some transformation and transformation should be done by standard scalar so standard scalar is available within the pre-processing so we can use standard scalar for the transformation here now regression type of problems why do we you know we do this is that uh, 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 they need to basically be in the same scale and all of these features are in different scales and so we need to do a standard scaling feature uh, scaling transformation which will bring all the features in the same level which will be a lot easier for the regression algorithm to pick up so that's that's the thing that we'll be requiring to do i'm going to copy this and paste it here and this time i'm going to go to as this one is going to be scalar copy this paste it here and i'm going to say standard scalar open the close bracket we don't need to give any inputs here i'm just going to take the missing value here to this place and say scalar paste it here paste it here so i'm going to run this and standard called scalar is not defined so i'll go back up and run this should be defined and come back here to run it and run this again so now we have our data which is you know encode uh, ordinarily encoded then we have missing value treated and then standard scalar is also done and now what is the next step that we're going to do so so far we have you know done this transformation and it's time for us to move on to do the next step which is from this place onward from this transformation place onwards we are going to now take it 
into the training part right so the model building part and we're going to do a linear regression on this right so that's the part of it but how the process is going to be looking at. so we're going to build the model model on x train and y train right so that's that's the model part that we have then we are going to predict on x train and x validation right so this is two different steps that we will do we are going to predict there and then we are going to calculate the r squared this is the competition parameter that will be there and it's going to be called the train r squared and the the validation validation r square and compare these two values so ideally if this two values are let's say 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 then you know we are we are at a good model if not we continue to try to build and improve the score right. so that that's the build process where we compare this part of it and then after we build and you know we are, we are confident about this part of it where our model is looking good then we'll move on to the next step which is you know predict on x test right so we're going to predict that and then you're going to create a submission file to submit it on the calculate competition and look at the leaderboard of where we stand okay so that's the process build the model uh, predict on train predict on x validation and then check how they are looking like and then you know predict on the x data and submit it to the competition so those are the next steps build model to build the model we are going to first begin with an instance of log linear regression and so i'm going to go back to the top and add this i'm going to say from sklearn dot linear model import linear regression now this is the base model so with with just linear regression we're going to be fine so i'm going to take that and also along with linear regression we will require the metrics for evaluation so i'm going to say again sklearn dot metrics dot metrics import r square should be available so r square is what we'll be importing and uh, so now once this is done so we have logistic regression in r square we should be fine for us to execute the model so we'll start here first uh, we'll create an instance of that so i'm going to say linear regression open close bracket and everything else we've done before this so we don't need to do anything apart from just doing an instance right and it's not defined so okay i have to run it from the top so just let me run it and go back here and rerun this one now once that is done we're going to fit this so i'm going to say lr dot fit and we're going to fit fit it on x train uh, because the, the whole plan was you know we we build the model on the train data and then predict on train and validation and the test right? so that's the plan so i'm going to take that comma y ray and so we're going to fit that it fit the linear regression and we can check stuff around it however what we'll do is we'll focus on predicting and making a submission and coming back and tweaking anything else that is required so use a few more blocks and now we have to predict so i'm we're going to say predict y for all all cases whichever cases we can okay so all of these cases we're going to say y train red is equal to then y validation red is equal to and then we will say y test predictions and we'll say lr dot predict and we just need to give the x train from this 
similarly so to copy this paste it here paste it here and we're going to give the validation one here and we are going to give the test one here if i run this i should have my predictions and uh, the predictions will basically hold the values that we predicted and now we need to check the accuracy on top of it right so to check the accuracy check r squared here okay and we're going to do check the accuracies for this so we build the model on this and we'll see what is the training of r squared and what is the r squared for the the validation data set so this will give a good sense of whether we are overfitting underfitting or just rightly fitting okay so we'll say here print and we'll say r squared and we need to give the true values and the predicted values here so it's going to be y train comma y train predict predicted and similarly copy this and paste it here and this is going to be the validation and this is going to be the validation one so run it and so y train validation is not found it's actually y validation right so if i run it i'm getting 0.59 and minus 1.3 so this is something that is bad one minus 1.3 is not at all good so we'll see what what happens with that but uh, let's just go ahead with this and see if we can if you have a decent score with this or not okay so we've done that and uh, finally we are ready to create the submission file okay so we're going to say uh, again this should be good enough uh, we'll revisit it just let's finish the flow and then we'll come back to see what what happened with that flow so here we're going to say submission and we're going to introduce this code where we're going to call this submission file is equal to pd dot data frame open bracket curly bracket and we're going to give a dictionary to this right so we're going to have id which is going to be taken from the test data itself because we have the id there and then comma we're going to say take y from the y test prediction that we have here right so we're going to take that and we'll see what it contains so submission dot head and it should give us few rows for us to see what's there if i do that i'll get the id and i'll also get the y which looks like it's giving a very small value currently and uh, this will definitely impact the r square and it will not give a good score so we need to ensure that this this is good enough and uh, we'll see how that is done by tweaking the above code and seeing what it is right but this is definitely a bad model currently and we need to improve something to ensure that at least these two are in the similar range for us to make a submission so what can go wrong in this scenario now we are getting a low value that means typically we it might be that we are overfitting it and we are able to see that it's getting a very high r squared and this is just flipping around and it definitely not a good score to have so how do we assess or what concept is this we look at the bias and variance trade off chart and if you just look at the images here just one of these images that that is available here or this one you'll see that if the model complexity increases right you are tend to overfit and you know it's it's definitely overfitting it but when you test it right it will just increase the error here so that's why the error is increasing and we have overfitted it and so we just want to get to a good fit here right so that's the scenario we want to be in neither underfitting or neither overfitting just the most best model here so to get this scenario to get to this place we are going to do one thing that is first 
we are not going to give all the x features to the model to to give us an outcome right instead because there are 300 plus features in this it's just overfitting the model and we just want to reduce that to at least 30 of the features i'm just selecting the 30 as a as a starting point we can either go reduce below or just increase the number a little bit also but 30 is a good point to start even 20 is a good start but for this case we'll start with uh, 20. so how are we going to do it just before the build model part here we're going to say select top features as a scenario and we're going to introduce a code here and how are we going to do it right so for this we have sklearn select k best is what we'll be using right so this is in feature selection select k best and we have along with it some function or some selection criteria for which this select k best will select some features and give it to us and for this kind of a scenarios we have mutual in info regression which is again within the feature selection so within this feature selection we have select k best and then feature selection mutual info regression so we have to use these two in combo and that's the trick that we're going to do here as opposed to we doing this manually so going back to our code we are just going to go back up and we are going to introduce from sklearn dot select feature selection so feature selection and we're going to say select so it select k best k best comma mutual info regression so what mutual info regression does is it just gives us like the combination of features that works well for this model and we have other uh, you know functions like variance which can help us achieve the same but i've seen that mutual mutual info regression works best along with select kbh to give us the top 30 features that will be working for this model so we're going to take this uh, as usual we are going to you know take use this create an instance of this and this is how we'll be doing it so we're going to say selection is equal to select k best and we're going to give mutual info regression and k is equal to 30. so that's the way we're going to do it and hopefully this is the right way to write it so i should go back up and run this select k best oh, i'm sorry i have to put import if i run this I should have it and now if I go back to this place and run it I should have an instance of this now I have to do the same thing just like this I have to fit it you know selection dot fit on x train and we should be giving a y also along with this I don't think so we should be yeah we need to give y so we're going to say comma y underscore train so we fit it and then we are also going to transform all of the features which means we are just going to select top 30 features from this selection okay so all of this is pretty straightforward and simple so if i just run this and check out this train data dot info it should give me only like 30 features for this example there's no attribute called info okay we're just going to look at x train and it should be giving us uh, 30 features and it's transformed like this right so that's what it does and now we are ready to build the model again so i'm just going to run the linear regression fit the model do our prediction and this is where the magic will happen so if i run this now i have a much more decent score which is 0.54 and 0.57 which are close together and now we know that we are doing a good model so we can run the submission file again and this time we get some values which are 
most likely close to the values that we are trying to predict and we can now submit this to the competition so let's just save this version and save commit and run all okay i think we have to make one change in this which is the export code right so we have to say export and say submission dot to csv give a name say submission linear regression 30 features dot csv and index is equal to false and say submit and now it should it should give us a it should give us a submission file that uh, we can submit to the competition so i'm going to just resave this rerun it and save it and it should take a while to run it so now it's run and we should be able to submit it to the competition so i'm going to click on that and click on data tab here and i'm going to click on this submit I'll say version to this file I want to submit and I'll say submit and we can view our some score that is available. So this one gave us 0.53138 and if I can see all my submissions, you'll see I have this 0 0.52448, 0 0.53115 and this time again we got 0 0.52446, 0 0.53138. So a, a slightly lesser score than the initial ones that I had run, but this is a good place to start. And if you just look at the leaderboard, you'll see we are at 0.53 and the, the highest score is 0.5555. So we are not that far. And so we need to check what else we can do to improve the score. If you have any ideas in this particular example, guys, please mention them in the comment section below. And I'll make another video to improve the score and try to reach the leaderboard.